Hey everybody, it's Dr. Omnibus here with another public service announcement about the health of your Omnibus. Um, in our last episode, I talked about relaxing the spine of this book right here uh, to help preserve the book for a long time. And this is another issue kind of relating to the health of the spine of the book. In order to understand what we're going to do, we need to know a little bit more about the anatomy of an Omnibus. So, I know I talked about the dust jacket before. I'm going to take that off so that we can get a better look here. So, we've got the spine of the, the omnibus here. And inside the pages, this is called the block. As you can see, when you look down, the block touches the table that it's sitting on. However, when this is constructed, and it's new, there should be this much of a gap between the text block and the table. So when you have an omnibus sitting on your shelf like this for a long time, eventually the block starts to sag. Over time, this damages the end sheet which is the piece of paper which connects the text block to the cover. So eventually gravity pulls the text block down and it separates the paper right here. Once that separates, the whole book uh, has an increased chance of falling apart. So we want to prevent the sagging. Obviously, this book's already sagging a little bit, large, even though it's less than a year old. Uh, large books like this are going to sag. So, in order to prevent gravity from impacting the block so much, we need to put something under here to push it back up so that it rests on the boards or on whatever you put under there instead of on the block itself. So what I'm going to do is take some foam board. This is like a small science fair project uh, fold out thing. And I'm going to set this on there and just trace the book so that I know the width of it. And I know that I want to make this a little bit smaller because if I cut it to that size, it will not fit in between the front and back cover. So I need to cut just a, a hair smaller than that, or actually about an eighth of an inch. So that's what I'm going to do. traced it out here. I'm just going to use a very sharp blade to cut that. Conventional wisdom says that you would want the, the foam to extend the full length here. Uh, I don't think it's entirely necessary to do that, as long as you've got a, a fair amount of coverage here. So I'm just making one that is as wide as one of these panels. Conventional wisdom also says, cut away from yourself. I don't do that. I'm not a very wise or conventional person. Right. So now I've got a piece of foam that fits under the omnibus. Clean up that corner a little bit. There. 
Now you can just set the foam down, set the omnibus on top of it. And as you can see, no more sag. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, the foam board is a little bit bigger then it needs to be, it's raising the, the cover completely off of the table. Ideally, uh, you would get board that is about an eighth of an inch thick. This is more like a quarter, um, but it's what I was able to get. What I do to remedy that, you can cut you know, with, a, with a long blade, you can cut through here and trim it to be a little bit thinner, like this one. And so then you've got the exposed foam here on the inside. You can drop that down in there. I would put it foam side down. So now you can see that the boards rest comfortably on the table and the block is resting on the foam. This does fit all the way down in there. I'm just leaving it out to show you. And that will prevent the sagging of the book. That's all I've got for you this evening. I hope that uh, if you collect omnibus, that you will practice this technique so that your omnibus will last a long time. Have a good night.